Next, we shall have an overview of the general good traffic, which will help us to understand the structure, both the on-disk and in-memory structures used in file system implementation, which we will discuss in the next video. When we push the power button of the computer, the BIOS, a code which is located on the ROM memory, is made to be fetched and executed. BIOS performs two things. One is post power on self test, which is a test to make sure all the attached devices are communicating clearly with the CPU. Once it is determined that all components are functioning properly, next task of BIOS is to locate the appropriate boot drive. And the boot drive can be anything in CD, pen drive or hard disk. And suppose our boot drive is in the hard disk. After locating the boot drive, BIOS loads the first block, the first 512 bytes of the disk, which is located at cylinder 0, head 0 and sector 1 to the main memory. This mem block is called the master boot record or MBR. MBR consists of a partition table which contains the list of the partition, the size of partition, location and so on. The master boot record also contains an important piece of code called stage 1 bootstrap code. The job of this bootstrap code is to use the information provided in the partition table to locate the active partition from where the operating system can be actually booted from. Thus, BIOS first performs POST, then locate the boot drive and load the master boot record from that boot drive to the main memory and the control is passed to the main memory. The code which is present in the MBR executes with the help of the information provided in the partition table to locate the active partition from where the operating system can be booted. Suppose we need to boot the operating system from this partition. Then the first block from the partition holding the operating system will be loaded to the main memory and will be executed. This block generally consists of a boot control block which contains the second stage bootstrap code. It contains the information needed by the system to boot an operating system from that partition. It is called boot block or partition boot sector 2. Also, this block contains a partition control block, which contains the details regarding this partition, such as the number of blocks in the partition, size of the block, free block count, and free block pointer. It is also called super block or master file table. This is the actual bootstrap code, which is the final critical step of the boot process, which locates and loads the kernel for the selected oil and hands off the control to OIS. And finally, the root file system is also mounted.